everybody, my name is Emma, and welcome to a Nerdy Wednesday. Now, back in 2011, 2012, I saw this thing called a non-Newtonian fluid, which basically acts as a fluid when it's like not being touched and messed around with, but then acts like a solid when you apply some force or like try to move it around. It's really cool. I love to do it at parties, and by parties I mean I ask my friends to come over and watch this cool thing. But anyways, Back in a vlog in summer of 2013, back on my old channel, I said that I wanted to fill up a giant pool with it and just like run around on it and play in all of that stuff, but I haven't had the money, resources, or time to do it. I wanted to do it in the tub, but my dad said no, because you know, the weight distribution, the guy who built our house wasn't that smart, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, in Minnesota, it is the First day that is 65 since October, I think. Uh, the snow has started to melt. I recorded my last video where I was rolling around in snow um, back Thursday, Friday. So you can tell the snow is down now. It's actually warm. Yay. So for those of you who watched last week's video, I said, don't worry, I don't always make these stupid videos. I promise you'll like next week's better. I lied. We're doing another stupid thing, except this time with science. So today I went out and bought 26 16 ounce packages of cornstarch, and I'm going to be putting them in this kiddie pool that I got. Let's get started, shall we? This is starting to look like a lot of cocaine. Don't do drugs, kids. Alrighty, 18 done, eight to go. Four more to go, guys. Cornstarch we got. Oh my god, that's a lot of cornstarch. <coughs> okay, now the next thing that you need to do to make this non-Newtonian fluid is add water until it gets goopy. So I'm gonna be right back. Alrighty. So since this is like the first nice day of spring and it still gets below freezing during the night, we haven't yet hooked up our garden hose, so I'm just taking some big buckets and filling them up with uh, water from the sink and trudging them out here. So let's begin. But yeah, like here I'm grabbing it and then I let it go. Still really thick though, so we need to add more water. And it's really hard to stir because again, when you, once you put like motion to it and pressure, then it starts, yeah, it's still a dry stuff we're gonna add that. Oh my God, look at 
this is such the weirdest texture because it feels like you're on rubber, but then it doesn't stick to your feet. Oh my God. Great. Bit more. Uh, yeah, you can like, you can grab it and then, woo! Now, there is only one way to make this dream come true. We got to get in the pool. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna change over here. Oh my god, it's all my dreams imagined. Oh. Yes. Now if I wanted to do this like how my, you know, 15 year old self wanted to, I'd have about 10 times as much of this, but you know, for someone who currently is unemployed and, you know, only has so much time and patience, this is a good first run. Yeah, look at that. You can play with it and like shape it and then, oh my God. Oh, uh, isn't this so cool? Uh. So the science behind this surpasses me, but yeah, this is a fun thing to do on a smaller scale, a cheaper scale with your children. And the way to clean this up is to like add more water and you know, you can dump it outside if you really want, which is actually what I'm going to do. Uh, or you can uh, just put it in the trash. It's fine. Like with a garbage bag in it, obviously. Oh god, we got some good huge chunks in this. Uh, and I made sure that the water is warm so it's nice and it feels good. Take that Uncle Bill in Maryland who has an actual pool and you've already put the water in it for this season and you and your girls get to swim starting in May instead of waiting until June when all of our pools open up because it still snows in May. Now I'd also like to thank Steph on Twitter who figured out my code. Although the lotion and yogurt and aloe, which I wasn't able to get, were just things that I needed for me, myself, and I. But congratulations, you figured it out first. You win a shout out. What do you think I am, a YouTuber who gets money from this stuff? Ha <laughs> ha. I am going to enjoy this pool this summer though. I don't like going to outdoor pools alone, and all of my friends live in Wisconsin. But I'm definitely going to blow this up like 9 out of 10 days a week and just sit here. Once I'm old enough I'm going to have a strawberry daiquiri. Just lounge like this with my daiquiri in one hand and my fan in the other. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandpa. Hi. What? I made slime. <laughs> you were <is> silly. <laughs> I know, but it feels so fun. Yeah. Look at that. How about that? Did you warm that up a little? Bit? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how crazy do you think I am? He's doing this. Ma? Yeah, I'll be right there. Scale of 1 to 10. 11. This is what I get from my family. I get roasted by all generations. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below how crazy you think I am on a scale of 1 to 10. Also, feel free to send me pictures on Twitter if you decide to do something stupid like this or if you decide to do this recipe. There are other recipes that show you like more exact amounts, but I just kind of winged it. And also, please be sure to subscribe. Next week is going to be a lot more I'm a sane person who doesn't spend $50 making oobleck. Most of the money was spent on the pool, FYI. We don't have a pool. We do now! I'm gonna be sitting in this on my 21st birthday after I get back from the cat cafe, sipping a daiquiri, but no triple sec because triple sec is nasty. Yeah, I hope that you really like this because I did. But anyway, 
Uh, I have to go shower and wash all of my clothes. But that's all I've got for you guys today, and we'll see you guys next time. I don't want to touch the camera because I have oob like all over my hands. Ah!